Is it around? Yes, sir. So, anesthesia for patients with matching agravis. So, this is a B cell mediated autoimmune disease. So, beta cell mediated autoimmune disease, which is antibodies bind to acetylcholine receptors. Okay, remember that. The damage is done to the acetylcholine receptors present in the post junctional membrane. So, all of you, do you recall your anatomical knowledge of? You have the nerve terminal, then there is a synaptic plug, then there is a motor end plate or a muscle site. So the receptors are present on the muscle surface, the motor end plate. That receptor is affected here by the antibodies, and uh, they can also be functionally related to not only these antibodies are related to molecules of post synaptic plate, including the two types called muscle. Uh, NS and lipoprotein receptor related peptides or agrin. These are the three types of uh, proteins which are affected. So, other antibodies disturb the function of the receptor blockade by causing conformational change. All of you uh, recall again last, last discussion about this uh, earlier discussion in the diabetic book also, we talked about the Actually, anatomy of the receptors. We have uh, insulin. When we talk about insulin, we, I told you about the two beta appearing along with the internalization. The same way, the monovascular uh, and the receptor also has got two alpha subunits, beta, gamma, delta subunits. So, insulin uh, has to come and bind to the alpha subunits and then investigate the opening of the protein channels to stop the conduction. So here also what happens that the uh, alternative target is reserved and maintain the dominant synaptic condition. And it may sometimes be a life threatening condition with some cancer immunotherapy is also. So mycelia is not only because of autoimmune condition, nowadays they have found that novel chemo cancer immunotherapy is also can induce the condition mimicking mycelia gravis and uh penicillamine. The drug is a drug given for copper mm -hmm. uh, uh, resistance disease. There it can, uh, the usage of this also can produce this picture uh, similar to mycelia gravis. And uh, if it is because of autoimmune problem, it may be associated with other autoimmune diseases like SLE, rheumatoid arthritis, or thyroid dysfunction, and diabetes. Also. So you have to check whether these patients have. Uh, similar uh, problems or other comorbid conditions. And uh, thymic hyperplasia is reported to be about 10 to 15 percent in mean, uh, early onset disease where patients are quite young. And preoperative pre evaluation to the step to evaluate the groups of muscles affected, especially the uh, bulbar uh, muscles, which cause uh, difficulty in uh, following. And breathing and the recurrent chest, the, post, uh, the recent course of the disease, and what is the therapy to which they are responding, and any comorbid conditions. These are the things which we have to keep in mind. And uh, we have to give them uh, anti aspiration prophylaxis. And uh, drugs, like we mentioned this nicely, all the drug interactions, of which we, the most important things are calcium channel blockers and magnesium. And the mainstay of treatment is pyridospigmine, which helps in increasing the acetylcholine. It may look uh, illogical because the receptor is not uh, performing well or acting in a normal way. What is the point in going on increasing the acetylcholine? The answer is uh, the ambiguity here. See, 
it is not the lack of acetylcholine which is causing this problem. Acetylcholine is there, but the receptor is not able to accommodate the acetylcholine and produce the normal conduction. So, but for time memorial, we have been giving acetylcholinesterases to increase the level of acetylcholine and uh, do get a good relief also for these patients. How is it possible? Can you think and answer me before we start the class? The next class. Right. So, myasthenia crisis is one which is uh, and which is stated by infection, surgery, residual blockade of the radiant pain, and reduction of withdrawal of the treatment. You can see also heart sleep situation. All these things are myasthenia uh, myasthenia crisis. And in my serious crisis, it is a lack of acetylcholine which is causing this problem. And 15 to 20 percent of the patients are affected at least once in their lifetime. And two thirds to 90 percent crisis require tracheal intubation and ventilation. If it has happened, so you must ask for a history whether the patient has already been hospitalized because of medical emergency and whether you have done mechanical respiratory support during it. It's a very important part of the history that we should mention. And uh, it can be diagnosed, as you said, by serological neurophysiological or by the type of antibodies that are present. Now, the treatment path, there are four main types. One is symptomatic treatment with acetylcholine. Second is immunosuppressive therapy with corticosteroids. Third is immunomodulating treatment with the IV or other drugs like the that was causing the different plans. Lastly, thymectomy in patients who have the proven enlarged thymus with antibiotics. It's a raised group of 40 and above in each female patient. Now, how to predict the likelihood of patients requiring post of ventilation if they have a pulmonary normal? And this is duration more than six years. And daily periodicity is in terms of more than 750 milligrams. Coexisting chronic lung diseases and free of fighting capacity less than 2.9 liters or any major body cavity surgery. These are all the things where patients may have to be prepared for some ventilation. So we must plan for medical ventilation in the state of the patient now, these are all the approaches what we can do the classical anatomy where you take a incision in the upper part of the sternum. This is called the reverse T or a transverse T in a sternotomy. And uh, this is the trans cervical approach for the minimally invasive. This is the uh, sub we can enter below the zipoid and reduce them also. And this is the three four profile insertion, which is here. But we mentioned we have the three four available for you. Now, coming to the conduct of anesthesia, we just mentioned for the small or lesser dose of short acting OBA. Avoid use of muscle relaxers, which I have highlighted because we can easily integrate this patient without the relaxant because they are very slow once they are this. They put all needed, we use criterion, which is a criterion of hormonium. Thoracic epidural can be placed for both inner and post of anesthesia. The tail or cardiovascular placement achieved with this in the entire space, which is the central area. Maintenance is done by volatile equipment, PO, perturbing, or PR equipment. Monitoring, apart from routine, neurovascular monitoring, is also important if you are going to use muscle relaxation. Emergence, issue to recovery of neurovascular function before anything. Avoid reversal agents, they can provoke cardiac crisis. Isolated dose of opioids to avoid. So these are the things that we have to remember for the treatment of the 